Hello there from Make Use Of, I'm Tim Brooks and today I'm taking a look at the S60 waterproof action camera from Suku, a company whose name I've probably just horribly mispronounced. This is a mountable high definition camera capable of a full 1080p at 30 frames or 720p at 60 frames. It can also capture 12 megapixel still images, function as a webcam and be controlled via a Wi-Fi connection. It's fitted with the usual ultra-wide angle lens we're used to seeing from these devices, and it retails for around $100. For reference, a new GoPro Hero 4 Silver or Session will set you back $400, so you could have four S60s for that price. In the box you'll find the S60 camera, a wrist-mountable remote control, various mounting points for attaching the S60 to yourself and other things, a standard charging cable, and a confusing instruction manual. Out of the box, you're able to mount the S60 onto a helmet, your handlebars, and onto a tripod. You could also use the included adhesive pads to mount it pretty much anywhere you want. The camera body is a mixture of heavy plastic and what feels like a stainless steel plate on the front of the unit. The lens barrel is also made of metal, and on the back you'll find a squidgy rubberized set of controls and an LCD screen. Above the lens are two white LEDs which you can turn on and off using a button on the back of the unit. This is a great example of how the S60 is let down by poor design. The lights have been placed so close to the barrel of the lens that they cast a V-shaped shadow on just about anything you point the camera at. On the top of the unit is a heavy clasp which opens up to reveal a removable lithium-ion battery and space to insert a microSD card. On the side of the device you'll find a sealed screw under which there is a USB port for charging and data transfer and a micro HDMI output. Build quality is a very mixed bag. The camera unit feels sturdy enough, but the mounts you use to attach the camera to various objects feel flimsy. All mounts, including the one attached to the camera, are made of very brittle plastic, and I managed to break two of them with very little force while testing the unit for this review. As the camera is a waterproof unit, there's no case included. This further leaves the camera open to the elements, though it does make the unit small and easily pocketable. Video quality is a similarly mixed bag. Under the right conditions, the S60 provides little reason to complain, aside from slightly more grain than you'd probably like. However, when faced with bright conditions, there appears to be a lot of glare, which makes your scenes look quite literally polluted. Frame rates are consistent, low life performance is typically middle of the road, and battery life was surprisingly good, providing around 2 hours of solid recording, a number that will no doubt reduce under real world usage. The onboard waterproof microphone is disappointing, but that's probably to be expected from a waterproof mic. Real GoPro cameras don't perform particularly well in this department either. The wrist mountable remote is a nice touch, and connectivity via smartphone connection is good and even allows you to download your footage and stills wirelessly. The menu system is messy, but you'll spend so little time there that it doesn't seem to matter. In the menu you will find a few nice surprises, like a cyclic recording mode that automatically splits your clips into 2, 5 or 10 minute segments, and a time lapse still photography mode. So would I recommend the S60? As ever, that depends on your expectations and designated use. If you can live with the risk of poor footage, questionable build quality, or you're only looking for a dashboard or security camera, the S60 isn't a bad option. Then again, if video quality and durability are most important to you, the S60 will leave you disappointed, and you should probably look at a GoPro or one of its equally pricey rivals instead. To read our full review and be in with a chance of winning an S60, head to makeuseof.com.